the seven words spoken by the lord jesus on the cross by paul gerhardt sixteen hundred and seven to sixteen hundred and seventy six read for librivox dot org the seven words spoken by the lord jesus on the cross my heart the seven words hear now that jesus christ hath spoken when on the cross his heart through woe and murder dire was broken ope now the shrine and lock them in as gifts all price excelling in bitter grief they'll give relief neath crosses joy instilling his first and chiefest care he made who hated him to cover god for the wicked men he prayed that he'd their sin look over forgive forgive he said in love them every one o father not one doth see what doeth he in ignorance tis rather how fair it is let all learn here to love their foes who grieve them and all their faults with heart sincere i freely to forgive them he also shows how grace o'erflows his heart how kind his mood is that e'en his foe who'd work him woe doth in him find what good is then to his mother doth he speak who stood near him he loveth and as he can though voice be weak with words of comfort soothest woman there see thy son for me thou shalt by him be guarded disciple see let her by thee as mother be regarded o faithful heart thou carest for all thine own who truly love thee when they in tribulation fall thou seest the sight doth move thee a friend in need in word and deed thou at their side appearest doth by thy grace find them a place them to good souls endearest the third thing that thy lips have said thou spakest to him beside thee when think upon me then he prayed when god himself shall guide thee up to thy throne thy head shall crown as lord of earth and heaven to walk with me to-day shall thee in paradise be given o blessed word o voice of joy cannot affright us never let death who seeketh to destroy now disappear for ever though he rage sore what can he more than soul and body sever and meanwhile i mount up on high in joy to dwell for ever christ's word gives deepest peace and joy the robber's trouble stilleth but he cries from the agony his holy breast that filleth eli my god what heavy load am i thy son now bearing i call and thou art silent now though i sink seemest not caring this lesson learn thou child of faith when god his countenance veileth lest thou be cast down in the path when trouble thee assaileth firm to him cleave though he may leave he'll comfort soon and cheer thee true do thou be cry mightily until he turn and hear thee the lord his voice now clearly doth raise through thirst that paineth sorely i thirst the spring eternal says the lord of life and glory what meaneth he he showeth thee how he thy load sinks under that thou didst pile for him the while in sin's ways thou didst wander thereby he also telleth thee how much he longs that ever his cross in each may fruitful be fail of its end may never mark this all ye now carefully who are in soul tribulation the eternal son refuseth not the soul's part and salvation and as the gloomy night of death upon the lord descended tis finished he with dying breath said now my work is ended what was foretold in days of old by seers who went before me doth now be tied i'm crucified and men now triumph o'er me 
tis finished why then toilest thou in vain thy labor ever as if aught human strength can do could ever from guilt deliver tis done beware and never dare to add aught to it ever do thou believe in faith i cleave to him forsake him never his voice at length the lord doth raise high over all tis swelling my spirit father to the place take where thou art ever dwelling my soul receive that now doth leave this body sorely riven and at the word to the great lord release from pain was given o oh, would to god that i might end my life as his was ended my spirit unto god commend as his was then commended o oh, christ my lord may thy last word the last be by me spoken so happily i'll go to thee when life's last thread is broken end of poem this recording is in the public domain